New tonight, a King County woman is accused of stealing nearly $30,000 from an organization meant to help music students at her own kids' high school. Detectives have been investigating Paula Brown for two years now. Fox 13's Nia Wong takes us through the twists and turns of this case. Nia? Paula Brown faces one count of first-degree theft for what she describes as a very egregious error. But those investigating her believe it was a lot bigger than that. Before COVID-19 swept the world, band students at Evergreen High School had their sights set up performing in a music festival in California. Julie Berg's daughter was among the students working hard to make that happen, including playing for hours at a pasta, pesto, and jazz gala. Shortly after we had fundraised a great deal of money, everything got shut down because of COVID. The students never made it to the Heritage Festival, and all their fundraising efforts were supposed to sit in the Evergreen Band Booster Bank account. We raised almost $30,000 with donations and um, a matching opportunity. Fast forward months later to the next school year. Burke wanted to know what happened to all this money. As the then secretary of the Evergreen Band Booster, Burke contacted Paula Brown, a fellow band parent, a mortgage broker with BECU, and the club's then treasurer. She was the only person that was on the account at that time. The parents had really trusted her a great deal. Burke says Brown made several excuses and delayed meeting with the booster club. Eventually, she provided the financial records. And these records that were just didn't look right. They looked doctored. When Burke compared Brown's documents to actual bank records obtained from the club's BECU account, Burke says she was um, furious. There were payments for a family cruise, payments for a trip to Oregon, um, alcohol, their mortgage payment, as well as a trip to Build-A-Bear workshop. The King County Sheriff's Office launched an investigation and found a list of discrepancies, different balances, dates, and missing pages. It wasn't just the questionable financial records that shocked Burke, but this letter written by Brown herself, admitting she mismanaged money to the tune of $13,000. But calculations by the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office show $27,000 went missing under Brown. Brown and her attorney would not reply to our emails. I would not want her messing with my mortgage and doing things with my funds and posing as somebody who's trustworthy. Brown is no longer treasurer of the Evergreen Band Booster, nor is she working for BECU. A quick LinkedIn search shows she's now working for a new company involved with mortgages. Brown was arraigned in December and she entered a not guilty plea. Her pretrial hearing is set for tomorrow. For now, live in Seattle, Neil Wong, Fox 13 News.